Hi, I'm uh, Glenn from uh, Brewery Alvin in uh, the very small village of uh, Moen Zwevegem, which is in, yeah, like a very little uh, part of uh, West Flanders. Um, and Glenn, uh, Alvin Brewery, tell me, how did it all start? Oh, started like uh, so many others. Uh, we just like beer and we thought, hey, might as well make it ourselves. So started home brewing, then started contract brewing. I'm talking 2002, 2003 right now. Uh, became officially a brewery in 2004, kind of by accident, but I, well. Um, and then it all, yeah, went um, from there. Brewing here, you mainly focus on sours, I see. What are the big challenges you have with making that or selling it? Ooh, there's a lot of challenges uh, in there. Um, I have to say, when we started, we didn't do sours. We did like the really, really classic uh, Belgian things, blondes, uh, brown, triples, things like that. We only started with sours when Mark, one of the partners in the brewery, joined us. Uh, I'm talking 2009 now. Big challenge? Well, yeah, sour is a, is a beer to enjoy. It's not a beer to go out on. So. Uh, it's, it's a beer you have to learn how to drink. Um, so I think the challenge uh, is there, the selling challenge uh, at least. The brewing challenge is maybe even bigger. Uh, you work with partially wild yeast, but you still need to, mm, to make sure that they do exactly what you want. And, and it's a matter of getting the right parameters at the right time, right temperature, right timing right balance between uh, all culture with, with lactobacillus, saccharomyces yeast. So it's, it's yeah, quite complicated and quite challenging. Yeah. Um, what are your main goals with the brewery? Do you see to expand or to export more? Or what is, or you're more like a local guy? No, well, at this moment I think about 60-70% of what we produce uh, is for export. It used to be actually a little bit more, uh, but quite recently we were available in some retail shops in, in Belgium, like in Corrid, and that's is why the percentage at least changed uh, a little bit. Um, do we want to grow? Yes, of course we, we want to grow. Do we want to grow extremely big? No. Uh, we have uh, our goal set on, like this year we did 1,002, well, a little bit over 1,100 hectoliters. We want to do 1,300, maybe 1,400 next year. So we have a slow growth, which is basically the only thing we can do with the way we brew beer. Uh, you see the food is behind me. You've tasted beer from, from fruit maceration tanks. We do it the slow way. Uh, I always try to introduce the term slow beer, like you have slow food. Well, we brew slow beer. And when you brew slow beer, there's no way you're gonna grow fast. Um, name me some soft skills that a really good brewer needs to have. <laughs> Modesty, probably. <laughs> um, I don't know, uh, just be a nice guy is, is, is already a good start. Uh, being able to handle long nights is, is not a, a bad thing as well uh, in this business. Um, and for the rest, yeah, work hard. Yeah. Work hard, live hard. All right, um, question, last one. You're going to Billy's uh, yep. Craft Festival soon. Um, what are the plans? What do you expect? Uh, what is the vibe going to be? Oh, I, it's going to be great. Uh, it's the third time uh, they organize it. It's the third time uh, we will be there as a brewery. So we are really, yeah, we're really honored to be there at every single uh, edition so far. Um, so yeah, challenges are, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm extremely looking forward to it. I'm going to meet a lot of uh, friends in this industry because that's the thing when we do beer festivals around Europe um, yeah you you meet sometimes the same brewers all over and some of them are really good friends so it's I guess it's going to be a good party it's going to be hard work but it's also going to be a good party yeah. right thank you cheers